The verses 10 to 13 are the last verses in chapter 2. Let's listen in. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming, and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and they shall become my people, and I will dwell in your midst. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And the Lord will take possession of Judah as his inheritance in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he is aroused from his holy habitation. So God is ready to make great changes in his world. He's ready to introduce these big changes. He's not just dealing with just Jewish people. This has to do with everybody, right? Verse 11 said, many nations will be joined to the Lord in that day. That means that, you know, they're not his people, but they're going to be his people. And that was always his plan to introduce uh, all humans into the group. Always. God speaks to the needs of all people in all conditions, in all situations. That's what the gospel does. It, it tells everybody what they need, what their ailment is, how to be repaired through Jesus. So it's a good thing. And God is ready to do good things. Remember, the Bible told us for many years that true circumcision, for thousands of years, true circumcision is of the heart. And so it's God's plan to bring all people into the fold. As many as are willing, nobody's going to be forced. Now this last part of the verse is pretty bracing. Be silent all flesh before the Lord, because he's aroused, he's, he's leaving from his holy temple. And yeah, the earth is in kind of a, it's a big carnival, right? A lot of people here are relaxing, think they're having a good time, and hopefully they are. You know what? The Lord is aroused. He's coming out. There's big changes coming on, on the planet. And uh, we need to be careful. Maybe we're off having amusement time when God is getting ready to do something big. See, the lion has come out of his lair. Big things are about ready to happen. And God's on the move. And a lot of times the people are, are in slow motion. So God has big plans. You really need to tune into those. And the way to tune into those is to see what the Bible says and to make sure that our hearts are right every day with these. And so God speaks to his people through Zechariah, whose name means God remembers. As always, God wants them to make good choices, good choices in times of crisis. And the choices are their own. But how can we apply this to ourselves today? That's the question. Are we so tightly integrated into the world system as it stands that whatever Babylon, the kings of the earth, and the merchants of the earth, whatever they decide they want us to do, Whatever dots they say they want us to stand on, are we ready to just stand on those dots? And I hope not. I hope we're ready to do something a lot more than that in a time of great religious crisis. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.